This is my first solar cooker. I finished building it today and it worked amazing, at least I think so. Uh, I cooked around two servings worth of long grain brown rice and that took between one and a half to two hours to cook, uh, which may not sound impressive to some, but the temperature outside was three Celsius or 38 Fahrenheit and I didn't use any insulation. Uh, I'm excited anyway. <laughs> I even ended up having to eat dinner early. This video is going to be about putting it together, cooking with it. Then I'm going to do three more videos showing the details of the design and construction I went through. So if you're like me and you enjoy watching how other builders build things, then you'll enjoy the remaining videos in this series. Notice that I'm using a canning jar painted black. So the first thing I had to do that day was to paint it. Okay, one trick is to put a bit of tape right here. That way once it's painted you can peel off the tape and have a spot you can see through. So I'll just paint it. Okay, so here it is all painted and dry. You can see the, um, the hole, or the clear spot with the masking tape left. And now, for today, one and a quarter cup of water. And now, just under a quarter cup of rice. And just put the top on loosely, since it's a mason jar. So I would have put it on too tight, and uh, the pressure might build up and explode the jar. So. I read on the line that uh, one idea is just put it on loosely, either that or take a nail and just bang a hole or two in top, just to let some pressure out. Okay, here's the full thing before assembly, let me just assemble it all. trick is to get this table in here properly. Smudge this in here. And on the other side too. And jar around so the window's out front. It's pretty good. Okay, next is to line it up with the sun. See the sun finder here, the um, actually lined up with the sun just perfectly. Yeah, so here's a little tour of the end result. And the sun has moved a little bit since I put it there 10 minutes ago. So after two and a half hours cooking, that's the rice. Uh, there's a lot of, I guess, not much water left in there. That's pretty good. It's the first solar cooker. Uh, it's uh, three degrees Celsius outside, so it's just above freezing. Um, so not bad. Dinner's going to be early. If you can see the steam.
It's a little bit hot on the jar there. Oh yeah. Now oh, that jar is hot. <laughs> Dinner fit for a king. Cooked by the sun. Thanks for watching. Uh, click here for part two. Part two covers the construction and testing of the first version of this solar cooker. Uh, you can also click here to see a video about my homemade sun finder, which I used to line up the solar cooker with the sun.